All right, so this is pretty much our mornings. Richie's gonna turn off the music. We usually have some music, but because of copyright, we're gonna turn that off right now. But this is the coconut that we got yesterday and we stuck it in the freezer. So what do you think, like eight hours? I don't know how many hours it was, but it wasn't like 24. Yeah, what, what, how do you want it to open? Okay. It, na, na frozen mani pa, ha? Napagabli pa? Na We're not sure if it's frozen or not. Raymond yeah. mentioned I do it on that side, Dere but side I, I don't know which way is Dere best. Dere 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 <laughs> Father, here's the ice, ice. here. Knife. Okay, okay. Knife? So ah, okay. <laughs> Alright, do you think it's frozen or not? Or liquid? Um, I think it's... Frozen. it's I think it's liquid, but I don't know. So there's the eye. Either way, it's going to be very cold. I have the coconut. Let's see how. So does your dad think if we left it in longer, it could have frozen? No. 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 Because of I think it's something in there that doesn't let it freeze. Yeah. Maybe because of the, uh, like, the shell. Very that, cold. That. Sure, do you want to eat some of that? Yeah. You can drink first. Try it cold. Everyone's afraid to eat because you're not supposed to drink cold. When you first wake up, it's like one of the uh, beliefs here. Ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finish. Oh! Ice. Look at that. So that's, Ice. I think that's Ice. all the water part. Mm. So this Ice. might taste differently because... <laughs> <laughs> so maybe in three days the whole yeah. thing will be ice mm. okay next time we'll get another coconut another time mm -hmm. and try it even longer yeah. so this might taste a little differently because a lot of the water was frozen yeah. so uh the other stuff was kind of left over no, well, let's try let's try this but well, it's his first time seeing the coconut so he's not sure if it's freeze or not so this might be just all water water mm. you know the ice water uh, ice boko. Let me. Let me ice. Yeah, it's like ice with the hint of like uh. Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Yeah, boko. with coconut. That's good. Want to try, Mama Vilma? <laughs> um, no one will eat cold stuff in the morning. Sugar, milk, ingredients, uh, hollow, uh, ice cream. Yeah, we make hollow hollow. <laughs> Your new dessert at uh, Brilliant Baker. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> and look at the meat. This is a new experiment. Yeah, it's like the frozen meat. It's it's like gummy. That's cool. Let's try a little piece. So it's like cold. So this is, I'm glad we did this. Mm. Coconut gum. <laughs> yeah, it's gummy, right? I used to, um... It's, it's like a different texture mixed with the ice. Yeah. The it's a nice little frozen snack. So let's know if you guys ever tried this. After you freeze this, maybe you can add extra things like uh, uh, Papa Pedro was saying. And you could like maybe put condensed milk if you mm. wanted to. I want it because, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. But you can put uh, condensed milk in there mm. with it frozen. Mm. And maybe some other stuff if you wanted to. Banana. But it's... Yeah. So that's... So are you not going to try this now? You're going to wait till you eat? I can, I can drink a little bit. It's up to you. I'll try. Are, do you believe, like, is that a superstition, guys? Or is that just not good for your stomach to eat something cold in the first thing in the morning? Mm, maybe it depends on, like, just depends. if you're used to it. Yeah. My stomach is messed up either way, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink it. <laughs> I'll try. Very, very good. It's different. Because it takes it takes it takes most of the water out, so it has more taste. I think. Yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, you don't taste like the watery part. 
Wow, that's like the full flavor. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Man, that's so good. Mm. I think it has more flavor than like normal. Why is that? Maybe. Well, from, because from the. Here? Like, have you ever had a drink where it tastes like watered down? You know when you go to McDonald's or somewhere when they have lots of ice mm. and it melts? Mm. It's like, oh, this tastes like water, you yeah. know, because all the water. But if you freeze all the water and all the stuff that's left over, you get rid of all the water taste and all the, all the only thing that's left over is just this yeah. other stuff. So this is like extra, extra taste. This is so good. That. It's very easy to get. No. Oh, wow. We might it's start a new thing. I think we should do this every time now. Yeah, this is Stick it in the experiment. freezer for over the night, in the morning, or the next day. Next time we might leave it in longer to see it actually freezes all the way mm. through. But this is delicious. If you guys haven't tried this before, this I think we had it in, we put it in at like, um, what do you think? Seven o'clock? Yeah. Something like that. like that. And then it's around seven o'clock now. So it's like 24 12 hours. hours, yeah. So <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> I'll let that out. <laughs> we didn't talk about that. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> wow. So if you guys want to try that, we just kind of accidentally did this. Yeah, you should, you should try the coconut. But make sure you put it, um, you have to cut the husk off. Yeah. Because it won't freeze with the big coconut husk oh, on there. Because yeah. it's like, what, like two inches thick. Mm. So it's really hard to get cold. So we took that off, put this in the freezer for 12 hours. And um, you can put it longer or shorter, whatever you want. And now there's ice in there. So you can eat this and then drink that and get the extra taste. And the ice tastes better. That's, That's tastes delicious. Better. Yeah, I think I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to enjoy this. And then uh, we should name this something. Coconut. Coconut ice. Treat. <laughs> yeah. So you guys let us come. Raising coconut. Yeah. So cool. So we're going to eat this and then uh, carry on with the day. Good way to start the day. Frozen coconut. Let's see if uh, Shadow likes some ice. I think he approves. He likes coconut. Approves. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. All right, so Richie is cleaning. <laughs> guess whose feet marks or footprints these are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I need to go run some errands, but Shadow is going to help Richie <laughs> do a little cleaning. All right, bye. I'm Ping. Right. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Hopefully I can get the registration and yeah. hopefully all the errands done and then yeah. they'll the be set to go. Okay. We'll do LTO and then, yeah. All right. Just say you live here for 100 years <laughs> so they know that you know what to do there. All right. <laughs> so let's try to do yeah, that's time. that's the problem. Last time Richie helped me and, um, you know, you know, not yeah. always happen, but yeah. sometimes you have to pay a little bit more mm -hmm. for like the foreigners. So yeah. uh, we'll see. I'm going to see what I can do on my own and see. How it goes, but all right, see you later. I'm Ping. All right, so we made it to the mechanic shop for my bike. I'll turn the camera around. So it's a good thing to get your bike checked before you go get the registration taken care of. One thing they check are the blinkers. So you gotta make sure those are in working condition and you know, it's just good to get your bike maintenance anyway. But the brake light was out, so I got that fixed. So now it should be in good shape. Go get the registration and there should be no problem there. All right, so I made it down to the insurance, which I'm taking care of right now. You're doing the paperwork. So at the same time, you do kind of all of it at once. And then here's like the emissions test. So first the insurance and then the emissions test. And uh, now my lights work and all that stuff. That's one thing they do check. So if you guys are doing this, just make sure your lights work, your blinkers work, your back brake, you have the mirrors. That's all the things that you do need. Make sure you have tape holding your bike together. That's really important right there. I'm just joking. All right, so he's taking my bike down to the emissions. 
Um, and the missions, I think, is like $4.50, uh, you know, like nine bucks, 10 bucks, something like that, if you guys are interested. And then insurance, I think it was like six fifty or something like that. So around like $12, $13. So that's about what you expect to pay if you're getting the missions test and the insurance. And that's like, you know, an every year thing, just part of the registration process. So I think we're almost done. It's going pretty smoothly. So I'm just waiting for him to get back with my bike and then should be just about done with the bike uh, with all the registration. That was the one thing I really wanted to get done today. All right guys, so I just got my registration here and I'm gonna let them, they're gonna have a little infomercial. If you guys wanna come and get your uh, bike serviced. Uh, yeah. Hi, if you need any insurance, just come here. <laughs> what else? I have, uh, and what, what's the location here? Like how do they um, come in? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, no, no, no. And also if you need the assistant of the, yeah, the uh, registration, yeah. So come back. It's I, I kind of showed you location earlier. What's the name of the boo building? That's the that transportation. The LTO. LTO. Yeah. So it's right across the street from the LTO. So come over here, meet these lovely people, and they'll get you straight forward with your bike. So they help yeah. me a lot. So thank you. Thank you so, so now much. I'm good for another year. So this is the second reunion. Next year I'll see them for yeah. the third time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys take care. So come visit them if you guys want your bike service. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of friendly people here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll come eat lunch with you guys. Yeah. 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 He said. He said. Yeah. He said he's he's going he's going back there. You know that God nice English. <laughs> Every time when there's American or foreigners come over, he's the translator of women. Really? Yeah, teacher. Teacher. That's it. So he, this is the newest worker, Brilliant Baker. Yeah. We heard really good things about you. So is, is Papa Pedro going to be the translator? Yeah. The trainee. 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 Yeah. Uh, sweet, sweet, red, yaya, uh, one opia. You do that? Opia. The opia? He's learning yeah. all the sweet breads. Uh, but yeah. I've heard Raymond uh, said cake. you're a good Banana worker. Castor cake, chicken uh, cake, uh, and okay. He knows them all now? He knows. No, how, no, not no, yet, no. not yet. No, no. Let's, let's little, little by little. <laughs> Don't tell all the secrets. Yeah, don't tell all the secrets. <laughs> when do you reveal the secrets? When do you tell your worker the secrets? Like, are those never revealed? Only. Only you two? Wow. Does 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 Father and son. Uh, does Mama Vilma know? Mama Vilma know. Does, yeah, does, does right Sister here. Richie know? No, <laughs> does Brother Daniel know? No. Only, only right here. Yeah. Man. Uh, Soren to secrecy. When did he tell you the secret? Um, when we started at the... At the other bakery? Yeah, other yeah. yeah. Do you have it written down anywhere? Yeah. No, only in your mind? In your mind, so nobody can copy it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I all those That's the best way to do it. Yeah. So when he when he taught you, was it all he was just saying it with words? He never you never looked at any kind of recipe? Uh, when we have workers we only uh, mix mix everything. Mix everything. So you two yeah. it's already mixed when they kinda yeah. do it. They all start. right. Yeah. Now I'm I'm really intrigued to see what the secret recipe is. Oh my. <laughs> uh, Richie, uh, uh, hey bro. Uh, Welcome to Brilliant Baker. It's a very busy area. No, I was it bro. Alright. Since I've been here, it's been like non-stop traffic. Very good spot here. Uh, 
Straight from the onion. What? Straight from the oven. We call this papaya bread. Papaya bread. Why is that? Is there actual papaya in there or the shape? It's like papaya, the shape. Don't touch it. You can feel the heat. Do you have a favorite? I might have asked this before, but I can't remember. What was your favorite? I had I had this for breakfast today. That's delicious. It has moringa in there. This looks like the night sky with the moon. This looks like the moon. Is that called? Hot moon? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So come try the hot moon. Uh, the full moon is right here. Oh, half moon. <laughs> There's full moon, look. Where's the full moon? Right, right beside it? Yeah, down there. Oh, right down here. So that's the half moon. That's a good name for it. Time to restock. What time is your busy day in the morning? Uh, afternoon. Afternoon? Early in the night. Yeah, early in the night? Okay. So this is size 45, which is 11. Uh, this is the store, if you guys can see me. This is the store right by Brilliant Baker. Someone asked if they had size 12. The biggest size they have is 11. And this uh, has Jordan on there. So if you guys come here and check it out, usually, do you guys ever get a size bigger than 45, 11? Sometimes you get bigger than 45? Okay. So you never know, it's either hit or miss. Sometimes they have larger, sometimes they don't. So, uh, that's 45, all right. So this is size 11 right here. Someone asked this, so I just wanna uh, answer your question. So they do have bigger than 11, but just sometimes they don't have it in the store. It's just like, check around and sometimes they do it. When's the next time you might have size 12 or higher? I don't know, sir. Don't know? Okay. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, you have very nice shoes in here. So come check it out. This is right by Brilliant Baker. So they have lots of shoes. And this shoe was 1,000 pesos, which is around 20 bucks. Very good shoe. And then the prices go all over. That's 499, so that's like 10 bucks. Very decent shoes for that price. So I just want to let you guys know if you guys are interested in get some cool shoes, right by Brilliant Baker. They got McDonald's right there. It's a great place to come check it out. And I just updated the uh, Brilliant Baker address on Google Maps. So some of you might ask, you know, how to get there to the location. Just go to Google Maps and type in Brilliant Baker and it should take you right to the location. If it doesn't, please contact me uh, and I'll contact Google again uh, to, to update the address. But it should be all set now. All right, so now I'm on my way home. I'll show you a few things I got before I head back. Yes, that is a coconut in my luggage compartment. There's another place right there. So 25 pesos is around the norm price. I got Richie, a yummy burger. I don't even know which bag it is. I got some brilliant baker bread and then a basketball pump. That's very important here. And then I got a yoga mat. All right, so I'm just on my way home. If some of you Come to this place this is the old brilliant baker this is no more so this might be on google maps uh, i tried to change it today but if you happen to come here this is the wrong location you got to keep going down towards the ocean right by mcdonald's the zoom doesn't go any more than this but uh this is the old brilliant baker that's how you can see all right i just got back hard working richie's outside what you got going on over here Spinach will climb. Also, that's spinach. Nice. Yeah. Do you ever eat spinach? Like, yeah. What do you usually like, boil it? Um, put uh, like put uh. Like in a soup or like in a. It's like there's a soup a little bit, fry and then put patties or soy sauce. Okay. Because spinach really is really good for you. Yeah, you tried this last time. You said, I'm not hungry. So I said, I'll just eat a little bit and I cook you like this. And then when I look at the plate, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, what's that over there? And she looked back, it was gone. <laughs> is it similar? Because uh, we do this kind of with tomato plants back at home. Mm -hmm. And it needs to climb because the stems are so weak that they break. 
I don't know if it's working, but I want to just go. Well, that's a good idea. Whenever you want, I got your yummy burger. Yes, I want it. So if you want to take a break now, we can... It's a good day. It's a good time of day, though, because it's a little bit cooler back here. Look at my sunflower. Ah, cool. Which one's a sunflower? This one. So there's no just flower no yet. flower yet. Okay. That's growing really good. Because last time I talked to you on the phone when I was in Michigan, you said it wasn't growing? Yeah. Was that the same one? Just the seeds. Just the seeds. So that yeah. grew that much in a few months? Yeah. Wow. And then this is, um, That's really big. It's that one right there. Spring onion. Spring onion? Yeah, spring onion. Cool. That's a nice looking one. Is that just design? This one here? Yeah, Nothing to eat. Yeah. Cool. This is a nice little. And there's a little uh, coconut. Yeah. Lots of banana. Moringa. Moringa. A dog. <laughs> <laughs> and chili. <laughs> so cool. Well, come eat your yummy burger while it's hot. Right. It's All right. And I got one more thing. <laughs> I'll show you what I got. Ready? Uh oh. What's that? <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Oh. <laughs> a coconut. <laughs> the same the same price. All I could fit was one, so I only got one today. But at a different place. I wanted to check all the prices to see what it was. And this is bread. oh brilliant baker, yeah. Funny story. There? Yeah. Right. But funny story, I was talking to Raymond and while I was talking to him, he kinda overcooked the bread a little bit. Just a little. But look mm. at it. It's perfect. It really is perfect. So I just bought everything. Mm. Look at that. It's not even burnt. Yeah. So he's that that's how perfect, you know, they're all perfectionists there. Yeah. So uh he said he couldn't sell this, so I just bought it all. <laughs> but really, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, I eat that. Yeah. Your yummy burger is one of these, and I got a basketball pump. Mm. And then Richie was asking what this was. I tried to get two, but all they had was one. This you is uh that? well, you know, Richie always catches me doing uh <laughs> uh exercises on yeah. the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, like, you're sitting there. Yeah, I usually shut the door because it's kind of embarrassing. It's for my back, and I'm usually doing like, you know, back handsprings or whatever and trying to stretch my back and stuff, and I do some weird stuff. People, you don't, <laughs> things you don't want people to watch. Anyway, I got this. It's a little more comfortable, but I'll probably do it out because it's hard to do some of those exercises on the bed. Yeah. Because like you, you slip and slide and all over the yeah. place. But they only had one. I was going to get two so we could do kind of stuff together. But we can just share this one. Yeah. They only have they only had one. It was the last one, so the price was five ninety nine, and they gave it me for two ninety nine because the last one is a deal. Mm. But look, it's pink, but it's orange on the other side. Oh, so, so it's just for you and me. Yes, <laughs> his and hers. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited right, about I'm that. Excited yeah, I'm excited for the coconut. Hi, hello. Maybe we'll give uh, oh, a yeah. piece of bread for. Her. Can you eat this whole thing? Can you sit? Good girl. <laughs> he's, he's waiting. <laughs> she, she didn't see that rabbit. Yeah. She's very... Her, like... She reminds me a little bit of... Uh, what's that brown's dog name again? Doggy. Doggy, yeah. They're just for... Why did you name her Doggy? Was it because you couldn't think of a name? Yeah, just dog. Doggy. doggy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't tell anybody that I gave that, gave that to you. You're a good commercial for Brilliant Baker. Yeah. It's really good. What can you say? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Hello. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another one. What about me? Here, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, <look>. oh, no. <laughs> Where are you guys going? <laughs> Look at him go. Hey, Shadow, Shadow, be nice. Now they're all, they're all chasing Casper. <laughs> Run, Casper. <laughs> oh, man, I, I got the whole bag. I better get them all. I don't want to cause any problems. Poor Casper. <laughs> Casper. All right. I think Casper's still eating it. Casper! Yeah. Detective. Detective usually steals everything. 
Oh, I want to hold this. I might have to break these up a little bit. All right, you're kind of bony. I'm going to give you detective. You always get all the food. Here, detective. Check, check, check. Oh my gosh. Here, catch this one. Right. So who didn't get one? Do you remember? Detective is done. <laughs> you got everyone so far. I think they all got. I think they all got. Here you go. Here's your neighbor dog. I see you hiding over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you're so patient. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Here's for the skin one. Uh, yeah. Detective's quick. <laughs> Can I just keep going to the ground? Yeah. Make sure you get a whole one. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> go, go, go. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, here's the detective. Here, detective. Here. Here. Right. Casper. It's just shy. Shy, bro? Shy? Yeah, shy. There's one on the ground. Uh, let's go give one to one in the cage. He said, Me too. Whoever's the quietest, <laughs> quietest gets one. Shadow, you probably win. All right, last one, guys. Here, detective, 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 detective. Over there, oh, go, look, look, over there. All right, that's it. All right, guys, so the main reason why I did get this yoga mat is to do some exercises, mainly for my back. See how this goes. This is the last one that they had at the store, so hopefully this is good. This is actually my first time using a mat. I think this is universal. You can go either way. Yeah. Yeah. That orange is cool color. I'll try this one first. What's that circle circle? Kind of holes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was on sale. That's why it's backwards. <laughs> Usually one side is the grippy side, but this actually looks, maybe I'll put this one on the ground. Let's watch, hey guys. let's watch Dustin. Alright, you can kind of get the idea. Oh yeah, that feels pretty nice. If you ever want to borrow this, Daniel, if you ever want to do workouts out here, sometimes Raymond does some push-ups. This is kind of nice to do it instead yeah. of just laying on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Raymond used cartoon. Yeah, okay, good. On the floor. So now he can use this. Yeah. So this is coming handy. Ah, oh, Daniel's got the shoes on. Hey, Pakita. He just got back from school. Nice, bro. How they feeling? Pretty good? Good. <laughs> good, man. <laughs> Those are some nice shoes. <laughs> It's very uh, early because it has new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> did, anybody, did any of your classmates say anything about your shoes? I mean, you got the shoes then. Yeah. Yeah. They said, oh, you have nice shoes. That's cool. Did you get a chance to play basketball in them yet? Basketball, like Anna. Not yet. Not yet. They're pretty nice, man. Comfy, comfortable. Yeah. How was school? What did you learn? Did you do math class today? Filipino. Filipino? Filipino all day? 
<laughs> what did you learn in Filipino class today? English, Filipino? No. Like any, in for, for, for Filipino class, was there like anything in particular that you learned? The Gallo. The Gallo? Like you learned the language? Yeah. A reading. Reading. Like what did you read about? So my topic you read about something new. Dog, uh, the pig and the cow. The pig and the cow. I said three. That, that's, Where are you going? that sounds like a good day at school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, did, I need to call you later, maybe if I listen to the teacher or not. <laughs> yeah. You're like, if, you're, if the teacher's watching, sorry. <laughs> All right. So if your back is hurting, this is my uh, the go-to one is like this. I don't know if you can see. So you cross your leg like this. I usually do this on the bed, but now it's going to be easier with this. <laughs> and then I push down on this knee this way, and push up on my knee this way. And you feel it like, all through by your back. That's probably my go-to one. After I do this one, I feel a lot better. And hold it for like a minute. And for like, then, how long? Like a minute. A minute. <laughs> <laughs> One that really exercises your back. What, what today Richie caught me doing? I uh, I, I shut the door and she came in me doing this. Yeah. What's well, actually it's, it's good for your back. But you go like this and you just go one, two, like that. But you got to go push up as far as you can. And but I saw you with the hands. Like oh, that. the headstand, yeah. And then after I do that, that's more like an exercise for your back. It really um, you can feel like the muscle burn. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done with that, to stretch it. And then this is the other one that I usually end it with. I'm not even on the mat. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. If you're feeling really good, you can do like push-ups. One, two. Oh. That's hard. I got to work my way up, though. When I was younger with a healthy back, I used to be able to do more. Oh, but that's it. My goal when I came here was to do uh, workouts every day. Yeah. He has a lot of lists of game. workouts. Yeah. He has a lot of goals he wants to do. Hello. <laughs> what are your goals or your, like, you want to, like, your routine? Well, the routine, I do have a long list. I, show, I just yeah. finished showing Richie, and it's, like, my to-do list. Every day, I would like to do, like, you know, writing every day, either if it's a journal or if it's a story or if it's just my thoughts, if it's just random stuff. Yeah. I used to do a dream journal which was fun and interesting. Um, you're supposed to, anytime you wake up during the night, it could be 1 a.m., it could be 3 a.m., but if you remember anything of your dream, you're supposed to wake up and write it down right away. Yeah. Because if you wait until the next morning, you probably will forget. Yeah. But that's fun. I did it for like three months straight at my house. I still have it. Yeah. So when you get to my house, I'm, I might read you some of my dreams. But it's, oh. it's crazy. It's like really, really thick. And... Every dream I ever had for those three months, I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. I kind of just stopped doing it, but it'd be fun to get back into yeah. it. I like dreaming numbers because I bet yeah, them. <laughs> One time she dreamed numbers, yeah, and then I won. she told her parents to bet the certain yeah. numbers, and they won. Yeah, it, it was last time when you went back to the U.S. I won, remember? Wow, yeah. yeah, that's that's crazy. And which numbers were they? I forgot, but. The first one was Hello Kitty dream, and then I, I asked the you know the seller how much was it, and they tell me numbers, so I memorized. Oh, good thing I didn't forget. Sometimes I forget my dreams. Yeah, so you just knew exactly what the number was when yeah, you when you woke then, up. Yeah, and then I <laughs> I don't know, but I was just lucky because yeah, it was just rare. It was just rare to to dream of, <laughs> to dream of numbers. I'm holding it on this. Uh, I think I'm gonna take it off. Hey, here comes Raymond. Was that the first time you ever dreamt numbers and something like that happened? Many, uh, it's second time I won from my dreams. Yeah? yeah? That's the second time you won from your dreams? Yeah. The first one is, remember, right? Yeah, I do remember. And, and was it this year? I think 
this this um yeah this year when you went home my message was do you know I won I guess yeah. yeah but the first time when you were younger younger right? yeah um, but the most recent one was this year yeah wow this year. That's really cool. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna ask Grammy what he thinks about you dreaming lucky numbers. Mm -hmm. He doesn't support because oh. it's betting. <laughs> but it, for me, it's just for fun because you don't bet big amount. Oh, so nice. yeah, it's my it's not your size mat. Do you think this will work better than your cardboard? Yeah. Alright, we can share this, but sorry, no no dogs, detective. Think, uh, detective, you think we want to go first? <laughs> Watch out, guys. I think this is gonna tear easy, so we'll have to make sure no dogs get on it. Uh, hello. <laughs> we're, te we're telling the story about Richie uh, dreaming, dreaming numbers, oh. and then she uh, won. Oh. Well, you know, but betting is no good, right? <laughs> is that what it's a, I mean, it's okay if just a little amount. It's not bad. Yeah. Just, it's for fun. I thought you said Raymond doesn't like betting. Yeah, because father likes betting like that and he said uh, it doesn't like betting because it's like um like you know gambling yeah. something like that yeah yeah but for me i can see it, that point <laughs> it's very zoomed in it's hard to record yeah. like this but it's fun you know i mean it's yeah as long as you don't do it every day like as soon as you get a paycheck yeah and you go and spend it all yeah, yeah for one peso or two pesos it's really not bad yeah, yeah. especially if, if you only done it twice in your whole life mm -hmm. it's what you know what two, how many pesos was it Two pesos. Two pesos, pesos. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's two. That's two cents. Interesting because it's from your dream, and it, and then <laughs> you won. Yeah. That is pretty interesting. That's cool. I've never experienced anything like that before. When I was a kid, I remember also, um, but my mom that time didn't bet, but I she said, can you give me numbers? I will uh, bet like that, but not in lotto. Yeah. It's just. Um, something smaller than that. Okay. I gave numbers and she said when it will come out, the number I said Friday. And she didn't bet because she doesn't, you know, believe because it's just a kid. Mm -hmm. And then it, it came out Friday. The really? Number. But you didn't bet that time? I didn't bet. My mom didn't bet. That's I was crazy. just a small kid. So I think I have, I'm lucky with numbers. We do have a uh, casino by my house. When it first opened, I went a few times and I bet uh, I have like lucky numbers like 22 because that's my birth date yeah. and then 23 because Michael Jordan mm. and then 11 that was my basketball number in high school mm. 14 was my basketball number and that's my brother's birthday mm. and then like a few others and uh, usually there's a, con a game called roulette yeah. and you just bet on a whole bunch of different numbers but I haven't I only did that when it first opened. It was fun. But yeah. as soon as I lost my first dollar, I was like, all right, I'm never coming back. <laughs> it's fun every once in a while, though. Yeah. As long as you don't yeah. go crazy. I like, I like you know, doing that, especially when I have a dream. Yeah. Yeah, it's from a dream. So it's like, you know, fun. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. I and mean, some people believe in, like, believe in, you know, you can see the future or you can, yeah. like, you know, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Nothing like that has ever happened to me, but... It could happen to some people. Have you tried guys like saying, oh, this one seems like it happened already. Like, like Deja vu? Dream. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. But well, it's not really a dream. It's like in real life when you're walking around. Okay. We'll go basketball. Where's your shoes? You're wearing the wrong shoes. He will not play basketball. He will just go around okay. because there are kids there. Yeah. And sometimes when people get new shoes here, I noticed um, they don't wear them to play basketball because they're afraid to get dirty. Yes. So it's funny. <laughs> they'll keep their basketball shoes inside yeah. and just wear those like in uh, special occasions. Vacation. Hey, is it uh, dishwashing time or are you just going to get water? Wash and, yeah, wash. Wash. Yeah. They just got back from Everyone's school. Everyone's getting home from school now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Chad on how she was. <laughs> he was, she was in the middle of uh, itching. Are you guys the soul? <laughs> All right, so how's your day? Very good. Very good, yeah. How was your day? It was good. I pretty much got everything done. Um, the registration. Now I'm just waiting on a plate mm -hmm. for my bike. Mm -hmm. But everything else went smoothly. It's nice because everything is located at the same like location. But if anybody else does, hopefully that helped a few different people. If you do have a bike, if, if you're a, a foreigner like me, I didn't know how to do it the first time. And Richie was with me the first time. Yeah. So it was easy because she just, I just kind of didn't do much. She just did most of the talking. Yeah. Um, but this time, yeah, it was easy. You just you go there. I kind of showed where the location was. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and so I got the emissions test passed. 
and I got my oil changed. Um, they checked everything. I got the back, the brake light fixed. Mm. So yeah, everything's good. So now I'm just waiting for them to send um, the license plate. Then it's all good. So yeah, I, was, I got a lot of stuff done today. So. Yeah. So you got the garden. You're doing the garden. That looks pretty <laughs> yeah. good. That's a really bright dress. I like that. Yeah, this is from Catherine. That's cool. Thank she you, Catherine. The bakery last time. Oh, cool. That's really. I like the bright colors. Shout out to Catherine. It looks like a uh, like a summer, like when the uh, sun is either setting or coming up. Yeah. Like all the different colors. Rainbow colors. Yeah. Cool. You want to borrow? Maybe sleeves of them. <laughs> no, I, I think you look better in the dresses. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I guess that's it. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. How was the yummy burger? It disappeared. <laughs> She's good at magic. It's super quick. Uh, I feel this chair about to break the below me. Oh. So, I, I better uh, oh. get up. <laughs> Oh, sorry, detective. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Today was kind of another errand day. Uh, we'll probably get start getting in the groove of things pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we have a eventful day too, so we got to do a few more things tomorrow. So I guess we'll see you guys later. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>